Alright, so what's up guys? I'm trying something different. I'm showing my face for no apparent reason at all and I'm making all kinds of weird faces, but um, this video is going to be a behind the scenes um, and I'm just going to show the process and play music and just leave comments, let me know what you think and I'll get back to you in the comments. Peace. Yo, you see I got this lens thing on here for a dramatic effect. Let me grab this stuff over. that we should have something clean all right so i'm gonna use this uh pat patterson figure the uh exclusive from i believe it was 68 elite 68 uh walmart exclusive uh this is from that old school set of the stooges you guys if you know about that old school stuff if you don't you know hit that wwe network if you got it man just search up the Stooges and you're gonna be entertained, trust me. Um, but yeah, old school Pat Patterson, the first ever IC champ. You know, he has all kinds of history, but uh, I know him in the Stooge form. Going against the Mean Street Posse, which was Shane's gang, which I would kind of like to see pop up in today's uh, thing, even though that would be kind of corny, but it would be nice for nostalgia since everything's going retro. Uh, let's see, let me adjust this a little bit more. Um, I just decided to do a more personal video here. I usually sit around and it's like all business, but... Uh, yeah, the content's been overflowing like crazy. You know, I'm just gonna apologize right now for not releasing anything, you know, stop motion wise. Kind of been on hiatus from the stop motion world. Uh... Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> We're out here. Got all kinds of lights. You see, I'm using a push this to the side. So I'm using a Loom Cube here. Uh, this is the Loom Cube version one. Uh, this is literally the packaging that it comes in. I just screwed this on and it's the greatest base ever. I never even saw them advertise it this way, but that's what I ended up using it for. Uh, and you see, I got it plugged in. Uh, I like keeping plugged in because this is going to be a long shoot. I believe that the uh, new Boom Cube shoot in low light, which is under 10%, which all my shots were always under 10%, and the battery would last, you know, 30, 40 minutes. But I guess you get mad hour life on that new one. I'll put some uh, link down in the bio. But yeah, as you can see, let me go ahead and break it down. Uh, you got the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We have the barn door attachment here, which is magnetic. Also, we have uh, the red, green, and blue filters here, diffusers, filters. Uh, mine's dirty, I use it a lot, uh, but it still works. As you see, I get that red light, rich red light, and I'm gonna control the opacity from the app because I can, I just feel like I can control the increments there. Um, I have my own presets there, which is always nice because most of the time I do it by hand, especially if I'm out and about uh, with personal shoots lately. Um, uh, I'll use it, just use my hands on it. But now that I'm at home in my studio, I guess you could say, the lighting's you know it needs to be set so I got the preset so if Moon Cube ever sees this video uh, please make it so that in the app I can put multiple presets for different types of lighting for outside in my dark studio or whatnot you know if you guys ever see the video but yeah let's see here yeah, this is this is this is gonna be amazing as you guys can see we get those lens flares all day uh, this is like the lens flare maker uh, there's all kinds of details on it. I'll just put the description in the bottom, guys, and you guys can go down that rabbit hole on your own time. I'm not really here to go through all the specs, but get this Pat Patterson out of here. I still got that red in there. I got multiple colors. I might end up using the blue because uh, I don't know it's Pat Patterson. So I remember him from SmackDown. Monday Night Ross. Nope. I'm over here like over promoting the light for real. Like, 
But no, in all honesty, I love my Loom Cube Lite. Uh, it's amazing. It, it really is. It really, really helped my photography, my toy photography. Like, they're a little pricey, yeah. But it's all about what you guys want to do with this craft. Like, I have a decent camera. You know, I got a Canon camera. I got a, you know, a baby lens on that, a 50 mil. When I shoot, you know, I feel like I'm making a movie every time. That's just me. Like, <laughs> you know, I can't tell you guys what to do with your camera and your lights, but when I take shots on my camera, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in tune with everything. It's weird. <laughs> like, I guess it's weird. And actually, it's not weird. I guess to other people, I felt this too, but I don't know. Life through the lens, I guess. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. Let me see if I can zoom this in. I'll probably uh, put this camera back further. I pause it, pull it back, get a better view so I can show you what I'm doing on mine. And as you see, that's gonna sit there because it's already out of the scene. There's all kinds of stuff. Look, this isn't even a wrestling promotion. This right here is another piece right here. Uh, that'll put that together. You know, I might just do this shoot right next to it because I got the yellow, you know. Uh, let's see, I think this hand's gonna have to work. Just pulling up the visor. Um, right, it's charged up, trust me. So it's gonna go a little something like this. It's gonna have it from behind from a different angle far back close up it really doesn't matter as long as I can get the lighting right in the camera and uh, get it going it should be alright uh, yeah tips and trades and secrets and whatnot. <laughs> uh, see I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and move it around oh yeah alright guys so I got the camera moved back Apologies for not cleaning up the desk, uh, but you know, we get it in over here. So, for the shot, I'm gonna be using, let's see here, a moon key. As you see, I have different lamps. I'm gonna cut most of these off. I have the little uh, college Walmart lamp down here with that flesh tone filter on it. But it's not really flesh tone, it's just, you know, that creamy uh, coffee filter looking white. But it definitely uh, makes the uh, flesh of the plastic look more flesh tone. I have a loom cube up here. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll pop it off and show you. With a suit on it, this is going to give me some direct lighting so I can aim uh, uh, light overhead. This big light's going off. It's just here so I can see things. And that light's going off. So I'm using three lights the spotlight up top with the suit on it, the backlight with the barn doors and I'm going to use this because I don't have a third one to and that's the only reason why but all right let's see here off. make sure we're all loaded up which we're not which we are not shot or 1.2 or whatever you're shooting at. I really don't care about that. I need this to be a definitely still shot. I don't want any motion on the figure at all. Let's see how close I can get here. All the wiring. I don't know if you guys can see right here, which I doubt it, but let's see how close I can get.
you can see, I manually focus. I know a lot of people don't manually focus. It's just what I do. Uh, I'm used to, I guess. Also, if you're wondering, I'm using a Canon camera, if you couldn't tell. Uh, it's just uh, my preference, I guess. It's the first camera I got, and I was teaching myself to uh, do photography, and I love it, so I stuck with it, and that's that. <laughs> Got to see over the side here. It's got some smoke. I'm actually almost out. Uh, atmosphere aerosol. Um, yeah, it, it does its job. Definitely brings that movie style haze. Uh, yeah, I'm sounding that way because I'm an empty can. <laughs> like, woo! Going for that real dramatic, so I don't want too much light. Let's go ahead and get the zoom. Make sure it's focused. We want the uh, figure to be in focus, obviously. Let's grab that atmosphere aerosol and see what we can get going. Mm -hmm. I didn't even check the settings on the camera. That's how much I do this. Actually, it's at a. It's at a. I can't even see it. It's dark. Let's go. Something very slow, I assure you, but uh, it doesn't even matter at this point. process like I don't even know how many minutes this is run but the shots are there trust me trust me all right let's go ahead and move it over do it for a minute make sure you guys see everything uh, hold on I'm still not in focus my bad my bad go back to the camera you saw the settings there let's go ahead and run through it The breath smoke there, I believe. More 
hazy ones are they? Uh, it's your aerosol and by the way this isn't focused just in case you can't screen. and as you can see I have many shots to choose from for which I actually wasn't gonna do it with this one but I did so let's see it's uh, mainly because you know I don't have a red background Ooh, that's old school right there Guys, remember these promotions? If you do, you're a true fan. Goes to show I haven't cleaned this card in a while. Look at the numbers on that card, though. Look at the numbers on this card, though. Oh, what? 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 Yeah, you already know what it is. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video. Uh, you can pretty much get any angle. Make your own, you know, special kind of photo. Switch the hands up. Do whatever it is that you wanted to do with your toy photography. I guess that's why I made this video. Just to inspire someone to do what they felt like doing instead of looking for approval. Uh, that's what I did. <laughs> and I'm not really doing it for the likes. You can tell by the numbers. So just do what makes you happy and you should be good. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's it guys. Your boy Jay Logan, SLS Animations. I'll see you sometime in the near future, I'm sure. All love, peace.